Hey YouTube, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. By now, you've heard the same news I have that you know the, these devices uh, that were used in Boston were put into pressure cookers, and this is evidently a technique that's well known in terrorist circles, and you know it's been used all over the world. There's manuals online to do it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you know, the powers that be never let a crisis go to waste. Never, never. Um, miss an opportunity to further the agenda. And one of the agendas is to control the population. And one way you do that is through controlling the food. And, you know, if you can prevent people from growing food, transporting food, and that kind of thing, um, that goes a long way to doing that. I just read on the news today about, you know, the NDAA that didn't pass. Well, I guess some version of it is now passed up, at least up north or something. I didn't read the whole article I just saw. But basically, controlling livestock, farm produce, that kinds of things, all in the name of keeping our nation's food supply safe. It's not what it's about. It's about controlling the food so they can control the people. You know what? They're going to use this opportunity to control pressure cookers and pressure canners. There is a difference between pressure cookers and pressure canners, but they won't care. They're, they're going to regulate them both. I'm, I really think they're going to. Um, you know, it's one thing to grow a big garden, but to get through the winter and through the starving time, which is early spring, you need to preserve your food. And some food has to be preserved uh, via pressure canning, uh, vice hot water bath canning, uh, you know. There's stuff on the net about that. You can read that. My wife's more of an expert in that than I am. But, you know, if you want to can meat, you need a pressure canner. I believe if you want to can something like beans, you need a pressure canner, and so on. I consider pressure canners uh, intermediate level preparedness gear. After you have your bob and your first aid kit and, you know, that kind of thing, uh, you need to start thinking about how you're going to make food, grow food, produce food, and then how you're going to preserve that food in one way, like I said, is a pressure canner. So here's what I'm telling you to do. If you don't have a pressure canner, you better go buy one. I'd say buy it in the next week or two. Um, and when you do, get a good one. I don't have a brand name to recommend to you. I try to get one not made in China. Um, and when you buy it, go ahead and order another gasket because a good pressure canner will last forever. Uh, the gaskets, they do wear out over time. And so if you get a pressure canner and an extra gasket, man, you will be set. You know, then all you need is jars and lids and that kind of thing, but you can get those later. And so, hey, go get yourself a pressure canner. They're expensive. That's not a cheap piece of gear, uh, but you'll thank me for it later. Um, and like I said, they're different from pressure cookers. Um, you can cook in a pressure canner, but you can't can in a pressure cooker. All right, so you want a canner. Um, hey, it's sad, uh, you know, but I can see where this is going. Uh, control, 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 complete control, a control grid, as Alex Jones says. Hey, if you don't have a pressure canner, go get one, and I will see you out there.